Alrighty y'all, this is World Class Jerk, and I discovered that I'm stupid. You see, I made a video much like this one in the past, only it was by use of a highly inefficient method. And by highly inefficient, I mean it's downright embarrassing to say at the very absolute ultimate grandite least. Whatever that means. But enough building this up, World Class Jerk. Tell us what sucked so much about your previous method. Well, what I did was use an auto arm to pick up these research samples on Glacio and put them into a research chamber so this could be automatic, because the usual method of using these samples, as you can see right now, actually involves having to hold F in order to get the bites from them. But putting these research samples inside of a research chamber roughly triples the yield, so there's not actually any suck regarding this method, right? Wrong, because research chambers involve usage of power, and usage of power basically means RTGs, which means more RTGs to increase BPM, which is bytes per minute. Now, I really thought I was King Slick after coming up with a method such as this. After all, I had never heard of fully automatic bytes before. And even though a demand for power puts this method in a bad spot, it actually gets even worse. You see, in all my P-brand glory, I actually had a worse method before my worst method, which basically involved getting a bunch of research chambers into a legitimate base so that I could have easy access access to them, which meant that I had to waste a bunch of auto arms to get the research samples to the research chambers from all the way in the caves. But then it dawned on me, I don't need easy access to the research chambers because this is an automatic process. The entire idea is to leave the research chambers behind so they can do their own thing for the rest of time. And so the point is I'm now making a video of this style for the third time using these glacial bite samples, and so hopefully this time it will be nailed. So what's the better method we'll be using in this video? Well, as mentioned before, you can actually hold F on these things instead of putting them in a research chamber, and again, this will give you one-third the yield, but for the sake of speed and resources, this will actually be better. But now you can plainly see the issue here. You cannot automate the process of holding F on these things while you're not around. And so the comments section swooped down like Superman and did a big brain condo. I was informed that you can actually activate these things using repeaters, and as we all know, repeaters are about the easiest thing in the history of time to automate things with. They are in fact the LGs of Astroneer Automation, and so this is great news. Oh! I just so happened to stumble across these comments while looking for the proximity one. Always a pleasure to me to fan my children and let this be an example for the rest of you to leave comments so the algorithm will like me. Smiley face. And so now all I had to do was set up a decent system, and I decided the best way to do that would be a button repeater that goes to a timer, that goes to a button repeater, that goes to another button repeater, and a proximity repeater thus activating the proximity repeater, which will research all the bytes in the area, and then that will loop back around to the rotten repeater again, which makes the process go around and around at a decent interval, effectively researching your bytes for you without any human interference forever. And here's what it looks like, it basically just spazzes the proximity repeater out and makes it research just like that anything in the area. Now as you just saw, this is astronomically faster than the last method, so there's no way we could possibly make this better. Until we can, because as another comment pointed out, this is actually simpler than you may think. There is no other comment. He's high. All you need is just two proximity repeaters beside each other, and they will cause each other to spaz out at a seizure tier rate, constantly going off and you can't even see it because it's so fast, and then boom, researched. And just as a demonstration of how fast this thing really is, I have actually provided a few examples for you, the viewer here. But world class jerk, how does this method last forever if these things simply research the bytes the moment that they happen to turn on? And that's the end of the story. Well, that's because these bytes actually respawn where you get them, so if you put the proximities right beside where they respawn, then they will come back and they will be doomed to be researched immediately at nearly disgusting speeds. But that leaves one obvious and final question. Will these things actually do anything while we are not in render distance? While we are away, will anything actually happen? And we can test it with our seizure beacon. As you can see, this thing's flashing, and so we can assume the proximity repeaters are still working if we blast off and see the same thing. And so as we should be able to see coming over the horizon at any moment now, we will see if it were any moment now, we will see if it would just work any moment now, any second now coming over the horizon, we will see... And as you can see, oh, Seizure Beacon is still working and activated as we orbit the planet. And so, yes, we can safely assume that this is going to work while we are away, which means, like and subscribe, this is the end of the video.